Assalamu alaikum students hope you all are fine by the grace of Allah today we are going to read a chapter from your textbook the boy with an answer which is at page number 45 till page number 52 so students please open up your books and place in front of you and read the chapter with me students at page number 45 we have chapter the boy with an answer wadim was a bright boy but he was also very mischievous he lived many years ago in a small village in a kingdom far far away in a land of mountains and snow since he was an only child his mother loved him very dearly you could say that he was pampered too much and became a small spoiled child but wadim had a quick wit and this helped him to make friends and get along in life page number 46 at that time the ruler of this mountain kingdom was a mighty king called vladimir he was a fine and a powerful ruler and at this court there were many famous musicians artists and other wise and skillful people Wadim lived in a small village called Yentaya. There was a school in the village, but Wadim's mother thought that the other boys at the school would harm her dear little boy. So she did not send her son to school, and this suited him fine. He could wander about all day and be cheeky to whoever he liked. Of course, not being at a school made Wadim late. for mate wadim quite lazy one day as wadim was playing with some of his friends by the village pond an old man passed that way the boys ran along beside him any stranger in the village was a welcome sight to the boys the old man stopped beside the pond to rest for a while and as he sat there surrounded by the village boys he noticed wadim come here son said the old man Wadim went up to the old man and stood before him. He was fascinated by the old man's long hair and hat. The old man was fascinated by Wadim's smooth and handsome face and the bright sparkle in his eyes. We are reading at page number 47. "What is your name?" asked the old man. "If you really must know," replied Wadim. My name is Wadim but I don't know how this information will benefit you. Ah, said the old man, I see you are a boy with a quick wit and as you seem to be so intelligent, why do you waste your time running about by this pond? Wadim was going to say something in reply when he stopped to think more carefully about what the old man had said. I can teach you something useful said the old man would you like to learn what i have to teach wadim was very curious about what the old man might have to teach him is it a magic trick he asked eagerly no it is not replied the old man we are reading at page number 48 it is something far greater than magic come close and listen Wadim went closer to the old man and stood right next to him. Listen carefully and remember this, whispered the old man. Then the old man recited a short poem and Wadim listened carefully. When the old man had finished, he said, "This poem is far greater than any magic. My boy, when the time is right, go to that high mon- mountain peak and recite this poem a thousand times you will be surprised at how your life will change then the old man stood up and walked off the road walked off down the road wadim laughed and shouted he and his friends ran behind the old man till he reached the outskirts of the village the old man went on his way 
and Vadim and his friends returned to play by the pond. That night Vadim thought about what the old man had said. He repeated the words of the poem in his head. Then he tried to sleep, but for some reason he found his he found this impossible. Vadim got out of bed and crept out of the house. He ran down the road and started climbing the mountain. It was dark. Vadim was a little scared, but he plucked up plucked up his courage and climbed to the top of the mountain. Vadim faced the east where the sun would soon rise and began to recite the poem. He repeated the words over and over again. The sound of his voice and the repetition of the lines page number 49 began to make him feel sleepy. Vadim's heavy eyes were almost shut when suddenly a blinding flash of light lit up the entire mountain. Vadim was now wide awake. His sleepy eyes were like saucers and he started, he stared into the grey dawn. Suddenly the figure of an old woman appeared before him. Vadim had no idea who she was and where she had come from. Most young boys of this of his age would have run a mile if they had seen such a thing, but Vadim was not like other boys. Instead of running away or screaming with fear, Vadim began to laugh. The fearsome old lady took on an even darker look, and her eyes flashed with anger. Vadim noticed that this reaction had angered her, and he stopped laughing. I beg your pardon, mother, he said. I didn't mean to be disrespectful. Then why did you laugh? Asked the old lady. At page number 50, Well, replied Vadim, staring at a bit big black mole on her nose. I was just wondering how you manage to blow your nose when you have a cold. Does your mole get in the way? The old lady's eyes flashed again with rage. Then a smile appeared on her face. In all my years, never have I been asked a such strange question by a child, said the old lady. But I think I like it. I'm glad of that, said Vadim, sounding relieved. Since you repeated your poem so well, said the old lady, I have something to give you. The old lady stretched out her arms towards Vadim. In both her hands there was a bowl. Here is a bowl of curds and a bowl of milk, said the old lady. Take one but choose carefully. The milk will give you much wealth. The curds will bring you great wisdom. You may have either. Vadim did not reach out for the bowls. He looked from one to the other. Then he asked, May I taste them first to see which I like, mother? Yes, you may, said the old lady. Vadim stepped forward and carefully took a bowl. We are reading at page number 51 took a bowl in each hand. Then he jumped backwards and very swiftly, instead of sipping the contents of the bowls, he gulped them down one after the other. The old lady took in a sharp breath of air. Her eyes flashed more brightly and she sprang forward to grab the bowls, but they were quite empty. The old lady caught hold of Vadim by his hair and lifted him clean off the ground. I told you to taste them, not consume the lot. She shouted, How dare you? Please, please, cried Vadim. I have a good reason for doing what I did. Let me down and I shall tell you. The old lady let go of a squirming voice here and he collapsed in a heap on the floor. Vadim stood up and brushed off the dust from his arms and knees. I am very sorry, mother, 
he said i didn't mean to be rude but you see i had to have both the curds and the milk one would be no use without the other what do you mean boy thundered the old lady well you said the milk would bring me wealth and the curds would make me wise no one respects a man who has only wealth on the page number 52 on the other hand a man with the only wisdom a man with only wisdom cannot lead a comfortable life i see said the old lady you really are a bright spark aren't you you seem to have an answer for everything and a mind of your own well you may have both these gifts wisdom and wealth in time you will become a poet a wise one at that you will use your sense of humor well but at times this may upset people at since and since poets generally do not make money and since poets generally do not make much money i i think you will have to work for someone who will provide you with what you need in life all your wishes will be granted and then the mountain was silent once again wadam stood there and stared into the gray morning a little while longer the old lady had disappeared wadam looked at his hands where were the bowls he stepped forward and looked all around the path was empty was this a dream thought wadam to himself did the old lady really speak to me did she give me some milk and curds am i really going to be famous person one day with all these question in in his head wadim hurriedly returned to his house and his warm bed only time would tell if his dreams would ever come true what do you think okay students in this chapter we read that wadim is an intelligent boy and he was the only boy of his mother he was pampered too much and because of pampering too much he became a spoiled child wadim had a quick wit now what is the meaning of wit intelligence the power to reason he can speak he can talk very nicely this helped him to make friends and get along so he was a bright child he was also mischievous means naughty he lived in a small village near a kingdom far away in a land of mountains and snow okay children page number 46 we read that at that time the king of that kingdom was Vladimir he was a fine and powerful ruler and he has many musicians artists and otherwise and skillful people Vadim lived in a small village called Yentaya his village name was Yentaya there was a school in his village but Vadim's mother decided not to send his boy to the school because she had a fear in her mind that other students other boys can harm his son so she did not send her son to the school and this suited him fine he all the time wandered all day and be cheeky to be cheeky means playfully rude or disrespectful it means he did uh, pranks with the people and uh, whenever he see any uh, stranger in the village they begin to tease him okay, when wadim saw that old man he was fascinated he was attracted 
by the old man's long hair and hat you can see in this picture this old man vadim was attracted to his long hair and hat and the old man was fascinated it means that the old man was attracted attracted by vadim's smooth and handsome face okay old man liked vadim's face smoothness and the bright sparkle in his eyes and he saw that he has something in his eyes and he this child has something that is at students when we see the old man and vadim's conversation the old man asked what is your name vadim answered if you really must know my name is vadim and i don't know how this information will benefit you it means that vadim was asking why is he asking his name and his name how his name <clears throat> will benefit the old man ah old man replied he told that vadim had a quick wit it means he can answer quickly <clears throat> as you seem to be intelligent old man realized that vadim was an intelligent boy so he asked him why he is wasting and uh, wasting and time and running about by this pond vadim was going to say something in reply but before that the old man had said that that old man can teach him something useful and he asked vadim would you like to learn what i have to teach it means that old man liked to tell him something useful something magical and he was asking vadim if he wanted to learn this or not vadim was very curious about what the old man might have to teach him is that a magic trick he asked eagerly so the old man answered no it is not explaining page number 48 now it is something now the old man uh, told vadim about that something which was very useful and he liked to teach vadim it is something far greater than magic come close and listen vadim went closer to the old man and stood right next to him listen carefully and remember this whispered the old man then the old man recited a short poem and vadim listened carefully okay the old man told vadim about a short poem which vadim listened carefully and old man told him when he had finished that this poem he has to recite this poem a thousand times and after reciting this poem thousand times vadim will be surprised that how his life will change after saying this old man got got up and walked off down the road vadim laughed and shouted he and his friends ran behind the old man till he reached the out, out skirts of the village the old man went on his way and the all the boys returned and started to play that night vadim thought about what the old man told him he repeated those words in his mind and tried to sleep but for some reason he found that he can he couldn't sleep and it was impossible to sleep vadim got out of bed and he ran down the road and started climbing the mountain it was dark and vadim was a little scared he was afraid because it was a dark and he plucked up his courage and climbed to the top of the mountain and at that time he has a big courage to climb to top of the mountain vadim faced the east where the sun would uh, soon rise and began to recite the poem 
He repeated the words over and over again. The sound of his own voice and the repetition, page number forty-nine, began to make him feel sleepy. When he recited that poem, he became sleepy. Vadim's heavy eyes were almost shut. When suddenly a blinding flash of light lit up the entire mountain. When Vadim finished. reciting that poem and he felt sleepy he saw a flash of light that lit up the entire mountain vadim was now wide awake vadim woke up and his sleepy eyes were like saucers and he stared into the gray dawn he was looking here and there that what is happening there Suddenly the figure of an old woman appeared before him. Suddenly he saw an old woman. Vadim had no idea who she was and where she had come from. He didn't know that who is she and where she has come from. Most young boys of his age would have run a mile if she, they had seen such a thing. But Vadim was not like other boys. He was a brave boy, so he did not run away. Instead of running away or screaming with fear, Vadim began to laugh. Instead of running away, instead of escaping from that place, he started to laugh. The fearsome of old lady took on an even darker look, and her eyes flashed with anger. This made this old lady very much angry, and she and her eyes flashed with anger. Vadim noticed that his reaction had angered her, so he stopped laughing, and he said, "I excuse, I beg your pardon, mother." He said, "I didn't mean to be disrespectful." He said I didn't mean to disrespect you or make any insulting thing with her. Then why did you laugh? she asked. Well, replied Vadim, staring at a big black mole on her nose. I was just wondering how you managed to blow your nose when you have a cold. Does your mole get in the way? Now Vadim started naughtiness. Vadim did prank with an old lady. Means that when people have a cold, they blow their nose. And Vadim asked old lady, "That how do you manage to blow your nose when you have a cold?" Now, see students, she has a mole on her nose. When the old lady heard this question, she her eyes flashed again with rage. then suddenly a smile appeared on her face in all my years she said in all his life she has never been asked such a strange question by any child but i think i like it old lady liked his question i'm glad of that said vadim sounding relieved now vadim felt relieved when he saw that the old lady was smiling since you repeated your poem so well said the old lady i have something to give you the old lady stretched out her arms towards vadim in both her hands there was a bowl okay she has two bowls in each hand and she gave him a choice to select any of the bowl one here is a bowl of curds and a bowl of milk take one but choose carefully the milk will give you wealth and the curds will bring you great wisdom you may have either you can have each you can have one vadim did not reach out for the bowls he looked from one to the another then he asked may i ta- taste them first to see which i like mother she said yes you may Vadim stepped forward and carefully took a bowl. First, he stepped forward. 
to collect a ball then he jumped backwards and very swiftly instead of sipping the contents of the bowls he gulped them down one after the other he gulped he he had taken all the contents of the bowls one after the other the old the old lady took the old lady took in a sharp breath of air her eyes flashed more brightly she sprang forward to the grab to grab the bowls but they were quite empty wadim had all the contents of the bowl and the old lady became angry with him the old the old lady asked him that to taste them not consume the lot she shouted how dare you please please said wadim i have a good reason for doing what i did he was satisfied with what he did he gulped he had taken all the contents of the bowls one after the other and he was satisfied with his decision of taking the contents of the bowl the old lady then told old lady that he had a valid reason of taking both the bowls contents that were i didn't mean to be rude but you see i have i had to have both the curds and the milk one would be no use without the other he has a logic that having wealth and having having wealth and having great wisdom they are nothing without each other so he explained to the old lady that one would be no use without the other she asked what do you mean boy she thundered well you said that milk would bring me wealth and curds would make me wise no one respects a man who has only wealth while on the other hand a man with only wisdom cannot lead a comfortable life he cannot be a successful person or he cannot have succeed in his life if he has wisdom only without wealth and if he has wealth without wisdom both are useless i see said the old lady you really are bright spark aren't you you seem to have an answer for everything and a mind of your own well you may have both these gifts wisdom and wealth so she gifted him wisdom and wealth in time you will become a poet a wise one at that you will use your sense of uh, humor well but at times this may upset people and since poets generally do not make money i think you will have to work for someone who will provide you with what you need in life all you all your wishes will be granted she blessed him she wished him and then the mountain was silent once again wadim stood there and stared into the gray morning a little while longer the old lady disappeared after when she disappeared wadim looked at his hands where were the bowls he stepped forward and looked all around the path was empty was this a dream he was thinking that it was a dream or it was a reality thought wadim to himself did the old lady really speak to me did she give me some milk and curds am i really going to be famous person one day he was thinking all this with all these questions in in his head wadim hurriedly returned to his house his warm bed only time would tell if his dreams would ever come true what do you think after thinking all this it was a dream or it was reality he came back to his home and we can say that only time will tell that it was a dream or it was reality it was a dream that could ever come true what do you think students note down the working which you have to do in the notebooks in your copies firstly you have to do 
वर्ड्स मीनिंग दीज वर्ड्स मीनिंग यू हैव टू कॉपी फ्रॉम द पिक्चर इन योर नोटबुक्स आफ्टर दिस स्टूडेंट्स यू हैव टू डू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स क्वेश्चन नंबर वन टू एंड थ्री टोटली वी हैव फोर क्वेश्चन आंसर्स एंड यू हैव टू कॉपी डाउन दीज क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स फ्रॉम हेयर टू योर कॉपी आफ्टर दिस यू हैव टू राइट डाउन द करेक्टर स्केच ऑफ वादिम फ्रॉम दिस पिक्चर we have reference to context you have to copy down first one reference to context is here and the second one is here you have to copy down these both reference to context with their dialogues in your copies after this we have sentences word sentences these are done for you and these words you have to do yourself take care allah hafiz